The Comptroller General of the Nigeria Customs Service, Bashir Adewale Adeniyi, has promised improved revenue generation for the service in 2024. He, however, blamed the cumulative uh, effect of 2023 being an election year cash crunch, Naira redesign, and other factors leading to the drastic reduction in customs revenue, which was initially projected at 3.669 trillion Naira. But the service realized 3.302 trillion Naira instead. The Customs Board stated these at the Budget Defence Session with the House of Representatives Committee on Customs and Excise on Wednesday. And G, the service is looking forward to the area, era of cargo tracking in collaboration with relevant government agencies, particularly the Nigeria <coughs> Shippers Council, for effective monitoring of the cargo vessel movements to avoid diversion. And H, this is a uh, process that is already ongoing, is the congestion of the nation's seaports, which is planned to ensure that we have efficient and effective port operation, which at the end would guarantee more revenue. We must also add that our anti smuggling campaign using all required operational guide as provided within the confines of our laws will be intensified in 2024. This would be to ensure that illicit trade that creates spares for revenue leakages as well as economic sabotage are reduced to the barest minimum. Earlier, the chairman of the committee, Honorable Leke Abejide, emphasized the importance of e-customs as means of trade facilitation and other economic contributions to the economy. He says the impact of e-customs will make a more technologically advanced custom, which will translate to more revenue as areas of leakages will be blocked. Abejide promised that the committee will intensify its oversight function to ensure adherence to the set objectives and laws. Today, as we stand on the cause of progress, the committee seeks insight from you, the Contractor General of Customs, on the tangible impact this modernization endeavor has brought to the Nigeria Customs Service. We are eager to learn about the impact of this e-customs modernization, the number of scanners deployed and functional, and the integration of artificial intelligence in our border stations. Understanding these facets is vital for assessing the efficacy of our collective effort in steering custom and exercise operations towards a more efficient and technologically advanced future. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.